The Farms.com Canola Report is brought to you by the Clearfield Production System for Canola and BASF Canada. So I'm Colleen Redlick, I'm Technical Service Specialist with BASF Canada for Northern Saskatchewan. We're here at the uh, BASF Farm Progress Show site just outside Regina, Saskatchewan today to do a little uh, talk about canola. So it's you know early in the season but one of the things we already want to start thinking about is protecting our canola crop and taking it all the way to harvest. Um, one of the, the major diseases that impacts canola is of course sclerotinia stem rot. We've seen that you know really high levels in 2016 and certainly with you know some places getting showers having some really nice crops coming that's something that should still be top of mind for our growers. So a lot of times growers kind of think you need a very wet year to have uh, sclerotinia be an issue but really all you need is enough moisture created in that canopy to get the disease going. So a few showers even heavy dews uh, are enough to actually start uh, the disease cycle and, and sclerotinia can be a real problem. The best thing for a grower to do is probably to, to head out to their field um, as we're getting closer to flowering timing, uh, checking the yield potential of that field. So if you see you know 35, 40 bushel an acre canola, you want to make sure that you're protecting that investment in that crop. Uh, heading out at around midday to do your assessment is uh, really great because you go in, actually check and see what the canopy moisture is like. So if you have that thick, lush canopy, it uh, doesn't necessarily have to be rain, just a heavy dew, and uh, that can really create a microclimate for sclerotinia to start developing. So when you see that those conditions are, are uh, prevalent in the field and you have that yield potential, you need to really be ready to pull the trigger on a fungicide application to protect that crop. Uh, timing is one big thing. So the ideal timing is the 20 to 50% flower stage. So starting about when there's you know 15 or so open flowers on the main raceme, uh, you want to get in there with a, with a sclerotinia fungicide. Uh, our new product is called Cotegra. This is a really great product, great option for growers. It's a two mode of action product, so combining uh, boscalid and prothioconazole, which are the two leading actives against sclerotinia on the market. Convenient liquid premix, and uh, you know, growers have been really happy with this, not only for the level of efficacy we're getting out of this product, but also uh, multiple mode of action for resistance management. So you know, we don't currently have resistant sclerotinia to worry about for canola growers in Western Canada. Uh, we'd like to keep it that way. So making sure we're targeting proper timing, using good agronomics, and using a multiple mode of action fungicide is a great way to do that. Yeah, so if growers have, have questions or looking for more information, uh, feel free to reach out to your local BASF rep and uh, we can guide you with making that sclerotinia management decision. The Farms.com Canola Report has been brought to you by the Clearfield Production System for Canola and BASF Canada. Visit www.agsolutions.ca.